Hello everyone, welcome to another Bible journaling video. Today I want to show you this page I made for Isaiah 11. I'm using a couple of different products here and I'm starting out with acrylic paints. I prepared my page with clear gesso. It wouldn't really be necessary for the products I use today, but I just like to prepare my page for every page I make. Uh, just so I can use everything on top of it and I don't have to think about the materials that I'm going to use. So I'm just adding a little bit of acrylic paint to a paper towel and then I'm adding a couple of dots of it to the paper, uh, yeah, to the page and then I'm blending it out with the paper towel. It's a pretty easy way to add some color to your page and because it's a really thin layer that you're adding it doesn't take a really long time to dry. I chose a couple of colors that would match the paper pieces I'm going to use. So if you're looking for some inspiration for the colors you want to use, you could always uh, take a look at the products. So uh, there's often a color combination that uh, matches, so you don't have to do the thinking yourself. So I'm going to speed up the video a little bit more. This is already two times as fast as I'm working, so you don't have to do uh, a quick job with this, just uh, take your time. Um, but I'm going to speed it up for you so that you don't have to wait that long and I'm going to put on some music and so you can watch me add some color. I chose a couple of paper pieces for this page, so I'm just laying them out so I can see how much room they take and what I want to use to fill up my page. I'm going to add some text later, so I just write that down uh, on the page and on the pieces, but I'm going to show you that. So here I have the smaller pieces where I'm going to add some text. I'm using a micron pen to write everything down. Um, it's also a good pen to use in your Bible because it doesn't really bleed and for the paper pieces it doesn't matter what you use. And I'm just writing it down and I'm going to add a little bit more weight to the downstrokes so it looks a bit more like a calligraphy message. All the pieces that I want to use on the page are ready now, so I'm just going to lay it out again so I can adhere it on the right place and so I can add the messages between the paper pieces. I'm just writing down a couple of letters and a little message on the left side. I'm adhering the paper pieces with double sided tape but you could use every kind of glue you want, just not a glue that's uh, too wet or how you would call it uh, because that will wrinkle your pages a lot. So I use a double sided tape or a tape roller um, and I think that's all the two best options for me. I did use a sticker machine once, so that's something you can put on your, through your paper and it will um, add some glue to the back side. That's a good option too, but the machine I was using left a little bit of adhesive on the sides, so they became a bit sticky on top too. So that's why I switched to the double-sided adhesive and I just don't have a tape roller, so that's why I use it.
I added a couple of branches with little leaves to decorate the page and now I'm just adding some highlights with a white gel pen. That finishes the page for today. I'm going to show you the back. As you see it doesn't really bleed. The acrylics don't bleed and they add a little extra layer of prevention for the pens too, so it doesn't even shine through. So that was the page for today. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And if you want to see more videos, uh, subscribe to my channel. And you can uh, see more details in the description and on my blog. Thank you for watching.